Hi Taurus, this is your reading and you've got 6th place in the list because I received 31 likes on the video last week. Gemini was the tops and then it was Pisces. Thank you very much, every like counts and then I, it's a sort of feedback of a appreciation and that you like the video so it motivates me to keep on going knowing that I do have people that like the readings I'm doing my nine card spread again and I'm using the Shadowlands and I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck I will be going into that extensively and I will also go into uh, uh, the uh, querent card or the overall energy card from the reading and I'll be using the tarot and the chakra book uh, there's loads more information than I'm giving I'm only skimming the surface you've got dietary, numerology, astro uh, astrology um, besides the tarot as well also meditations I will be making videos next week on the meditations, uh, different kinds of meditations, the meditations for the heart chakra, the third eye chakra, etc, etc. So perhaps you might be able to tune in on one of them um, that um, because I'll be working with them uh, for a couple of weeks with the book. So if you want to get the book or if you want to see the review on the book, it is up and running on YouTube. So let's get started with your reading. I'll do the spiel at the end of the channel. That's what I mean, wh uh, where you can find the information, etc, etc. And um, thank you very much for coming back, Cyber Angels, and being so loyal and appreciative. And I appreciate every single viewer and Cyber Angel. It Okay, and welcome if you are a new viewer. Like I said, this is the Queerin card. I'm just pretending that you're sitting across me. Uh, all the overall energy. This is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. The corner cards are will be clarified by the three, or the corner card will clarify the three cards around it. So let's get started. The first card that you have is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords means victory. Something has become clear. Perhaps if you're in a judicial situation, um, <coughs> you have victory. You, uh, Because it is an Ace, it could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian that you could be meeting or having business with. Perhaps you might be signing a contract with one of these signs. It could also mean a new communication, as the swords stand for communication. New wisdom, so that means a new study. You are gaining knowledge and wisdom through studying something. And also municipalities and institutions. That could be from a lawyer, an advocate, to a bookkeeper, to a social worker. They all work for institutions or municipalities. That is the overall energy, or that could be something that you're doing as you are the querent, or that you're worried about. The first card for the week is Monday, and you have the Four of Wands, Taurus. And this reading is from the 29th to the 5th of July. And um, on Monday, you have the Four of Wands, like I said, you might have bought a new house. You might be renting a new house. You might be getting married or having other forms of celebrations. If you or you might be getting invited to a wedding. Doesn't matter, you could also be invited to a celebration. Now this celebration could be to do with you with a new house or a new study. This will bring stability uh, for the long term as it, the four of ones also represent the four corners of a house. And a house is built on proper foundations, so that is why it's for durable and long term. 
just taking a sip of my coffee. I'm having my morning coffee. <laughs> and so it will be something that will be n n uh, built on proper foundations, even if you are meeting people at these gatherings uh, of celebrations. Um, you might form new partnerships or friendships, and they will be built on proper foundations as well. On Wednesday, we have the world. Something is coming full circle. An end of a phase, a new beginning. You have all the elements um, within you and around you to take the new step into a new phase. 21, you are 3, is creation. So you creating a new beginning for yourself. You, like I said, you might have bought a house. You might be living together. Why? Because the world is round and everything what goes round comes round. And what goes up must come down. Okay, you might be going up to the next level in a relationship. This could be in business or in pleasure. Like your love life. You might be signing documents for a new house because the world also means moving home. This could also mean holiday. Well, because we've got the marriage card here for some of you, there might be a honeymoon. Okay. There might have been delays. I'm not, I haven't come to that card yet. There might have been delays to go on honeymoon or holiday, but the time is breaking through to a new period so that is over that will become clear okay you will be having news on friday though because you've got the knight of swords again gemini libra or an aquarius this news could come through letter literally and figurative speaking -ly. Um, somebody could have written you a letter somebody could have written you a s email a text message or somebody might give you a phone call giving you the good news that a new cycle is broken uh, in for you the contract is going in now after a delay perhaps or this moving of home because you weren't allowed to move from one state to the next or from one country to another so for some of you you might be immigrating wow big steps you are taking is going to be good news and clear news because it's victory okay so if you're in a judicial situation you will get good news because victory is yours and you're going to celebrate now on saturday and sunday you've got the hanged man and again 12 here you've got 21 and here you've got 12 so two threes so you've got a double number like I said you might have had to take time out something had to be delayed um, but you had time to get an other perspective that is what the hanged man means but it's also a spiritual card because he is in meditation and when I say meditation some people don't do meditation so you've taken time out to contemplate contemplation and meditation when I see this card but also evaluation so you have been able to get a different perspective because when you're hanging in the air you're getting a, a, um, a bird's eye view so you might have been creative enough to get this uh, beginning going to move home or to go on a holiday the delays are over the delays can last from four week, uh, four hours, four days, four weeks, or four months. Well, we were in lockdown in February, and now we are in nearly in July. This week we will be in July, as this reading is from the 29th of June to the 6th of July. So that is four months. So delays are over. Now your first card is the Five of Swords. Perhaps you might have had a disagreement, like I said, and you've taken it to a, leg uh, to a legal advisor. Well, when you have the Five of Swords, 
walk away from other people's drama and don't go into a discussion or an argument. Be careful what you say and be careful what you do. Nobody is the winner with the five of swords. And nobody is a loser if you walk away. Use your wisdom wisely. Get clarity, so that's why you're going to a professional advisor to get your victory. Now, this discussion or this, this judicial issue could have been in delay as well because the courts were closed, but now they are open and victory is yours. You did the wise thing, you walked away, got professional help, and you got clarity. And uh, uh, the honesty or the truth has come out, and you've got victory. Well done. You've got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a Leo, so it could have been an argument with a Leo because she <laughs> knows what she wants and she goes for it. No wild horses can drag her away from her point of view or her idea. Okay? She will fight till death to get what she wants. That's how strong and determined she is. She's a quite independent lady as well. So be warned. Walk away from fire. Don't get burnt. And if you walk away uh, from uh, a fi uh, from fire or an argument you will win you will have the desired result perhaps you want to get married with a fire sign a Taurus uh, a Leo or a s this is the Leo but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries uh, perhaps you want to get um, uh, into business or form a partnership let it be in business or marriage because you've got the four of ones between you okay so, um, and perhaps there's been delays because of certain uh, arguments or points of view, and you've got the clarity. Perhaps, uh, I don't have the three of swords here, but you do have two threes, so perhaps there was a third party, and you got they got their divorce, or you got their divorce, that's your victory, and it's come full circle, so now you are free to get married, because this is the marriage card or the card of getting up to the next level so now you can have your next level with your queen of wands you've got your victory wow this is the marriage card as well so this confirmation of two so you can take your relationship or partnership up to the next level you might even not going to get married but you might um, make a, uh, a, a contract and not only a prenuptial but also we have in Holland a partnership contract so that when you do buy a house and you move home um, that uh, if something happens to one or the other then they are not they are safe and secure like a house you have covered your back and their back good on you my respect for that that is what a partnership consists of, not only love, but also the financial or the theoretical or the other side of life, the serious side. Then we have the magician. Again, the magician is a lot like the world because you've got the four elements and so has the magician. You can make it happen. And like I said, you've got victory. So you are making it happen. And it's number one, a new beginning. Don't create illusions and be true and stay on that clarity, clarity path or the path of truth so that you won't get disillusions, disillusioned. Because the magician is the biggest uh, um, uh, illusion uh, artist that he creates illusions or illusions sorry about my English so create what you wish but stay on the truth on the true path and make it as sound as a pound that is what I'm hearing so perhaps somebody in your family or friends used to say or use this word be as sound as a pound I don't know 
and you've got the Knight of Rods lying next to it, uh, or Swords, so something will become clear to you. You are going to make it clear. Boom, boom, boom. Victory is yours. You will take your time, or you have taken your time, and you've got a different perspective. You're seeing things from a different point of view. Again, the Magician is a fire sign. It is Aries, or it is an, uh, a Gemini. Okay, Taurus. You might be as busy as a Gemini because they do two or three things at the same time and you have the Gemini uh, uh, energy around you, okay? Wow. Now I've got a lot of people in your reading. And the last corner card is even magical, more magical. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. Well, usually the wish card is the Nine of uh, Cups, but I think the Nine of Pentacles is also a wish card because you've been working digitant, digitantly towards your goal and your wish. You're getting your money. You're getting your abundance. Whether it's love, money, a house, who knows? But you, uh, the nine is an ending to difficulties, especially material difficulties. Okay, a new beginning. And you knew it was coming, except it took a little bit longer, I think. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. It took a little bit longer than you anticipated. Okay, now we're going to the soul retrieval. Okay you have the soul retrieval and when I see this card um, I think you've got the love of your life I mean your soul retrieval you you can lose your sense of humor you might feel lost on your path and you're retrieving your love for life your soul your character your a soul to me means your charisma your characteristics your character you are back in form big time okay let's see what colored baron reed says about the soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself well there you are that's what i mean your energy your enthusiasm or your innocence that you have lost at first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God or the universe for some. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. Here you are, the Nine of Pentacles. She's in the garden, the Garden of Eden. And when I first started with the Mystical Shaman deck, um, I thought, oh, this is going to be so difficult. There's so much information. But if you look good at the picture, and if you look very well at the picture, you can see all kinds of shapes and forms. Now, if you look at it very difficultly, um, intently, um, you might not see it, but it is not very clear to me what it is. It is something, perhaps it could be a stone, that the moth is uh, lifting up, because I think it is a moth. A, a moth is transformation, like a butterfly. And this looks more like a coffin to me. I don't know why, but that is what it looks like. It's like I said at the beginning, I think, of this video. Uh, if you go to a museum and you take 20 people with you and you look at the, s at the same picture and then you come back 10 minutes later, everybody has a different interp interpretation. Listen to your intuition. Listen to the ideas that come to you when you look at that picture. So that is what I got from the picture first of all it is the universe it is a transformational time your characteristic you might have felt out of sorts but you're shining like the beautiful butterfly here <coughs> and then the coffin an ending and beginning okay so you're back to your true self now where did you've been creative here you are 
um, you have victory so that is power you have you're the magician again power okay beautiful cards <coughs> sorry that's Millie now the task at hand or the invitation that invites you to, to do something you are no longer fragmented you are one with creation you have healed the course of the pain you feel that could be that divorce if you are divorced or something that came to an end after an argument you're walking away from it and you're healing of you you have been healing yourself so you do not need to dwell on it any longer really it's true if you are still hovering over an old wound find a new flight path don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered go for the big journey back to Eden yes go to where you want to go you everybody has their own garden of Eden their own picture of the garden of Eden and I think that's the message here yeah. be happy with who you are you've healed and there will be lots of ups and downs during our life but like my mum used to s say stand up dust yourself off and carry on and don't shy away to ask for support or help you've had you've had the worst now and you're going into a beautiful face look at it you've got the magician you've got celebrations victory the end of the world the world means an end and a new beginning and the nine is also an ending and a new beginning I hope you have enjoyed this reading so far now I'm going into the ace of swords now the ace of swords I'm first going to uh, I've already given you my vision on it it means victory a new study wisdom clarity communication um, also the air element what I've learned from the book is the heart chakra like Gemini is shoulders and um, Libra are the kidneys and Aquarius is ankles so those could be um, some I know you're a Taurus but this these could be sensitive areas this week for you to um, Taurus okay so you are I'm going to the ace of swords and then I will show you um, what the signs are and that is what you get every with every single sign or card rather you've got three signs here sometimes four but you've got the ace so this is the heart chakra then you've got the touch symbol and the um, chakra sign the lotus sign I hope you can see that now every card also has um, all these points quality signs anatomy and uh, attributes advice and a little story so I'm going to read this to you so it will bring you clarity as to what your card means and also uh, which chakra is uh, aligned with that card and that you get to know the idea of the book or what is in the book so that if you would like to get the book yourself have a look at the review that is up on YouTube the ace of air quality thinking yes but it's also that is wisdom thinking wisdom so go a little bit deeper think deeper okay but it's also communicating and judicial background institutions municipalities but she's described it uh, Miriam Jacobs as just thinking signs all air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius anatomy all air uh, uh, anatomy shoulders kidneys and ankles but if you go 
it deeper into what uh, what signs are like then the shoulders is Gemini kidneys is Libra and the ankles is Aquarius uh, you can go deeper and deeper and deeper Attri attributes ace of air indicate indicates a clear message and a new perspective there you go it signifies inspired ideas with easy reach reached solutions if you get a different perspective and you take time out and you take time to think then you can get a different perspective other answers the ace of air is focused on um, and uh, focused and clear it indicates the moment when the figurative light bulb goes off and illuminates our thoughts advice develop the idea that inspires you stay focused notice where the clarity that begins to flower is located in your body anchor it so that next time you will know if that sort of inspiration was a correct one to follow in other words listen to what you have experienced hold on to it or note that and so if next time it comes around again then you can fall back on the knowledge of previous experiences the story the inspiration for creating my polarity wellness tarot deck came from a conversation I had over dinner with a former polarity teachers I was telling them about the slideshow I had developed with a colleague showing world art images that relate to the tarot I wasn't sure where we could take the presentation or if it could sustain my colleagues and myself I was asking for advice they su suggested creating a product on the way home from dinner it became clear I was going to create my own somatic tarot deck four years later the deck was completed so there you go that is the stories okay ideas you might get an idea even through standing in the supermarket and picking your fruit or veg and you hear two other people talking about something and just one sentence or one word can just trigger an idea so stay in touch okay now <coughs> like I said you have short lists and the short list for the ace of air is also a clear message new ideas inspiration reversed means but it's not reversed muddiness so you are getting clear and focused idea and thoughts now also you have numerology here and you have uh, food uh, you have uh, home remedies so th this book covers a lot but the heart chakra is of the color green and vocalization is yam and the note is F symbol six-pointed star that's the and also the planet is Venus okay the meaning is getting unstuck that's the heart chakra transformation main function is transformation holistic but also um, um, not only transformation um, is yeah um, transformation to open up your heart I suppose and to receive love to see things and healing holistic is everything all in once what you eat what you do what you think um, yeah it's so much more and having compassion for what you do awesome okay and Venus is of course the planet of love and attraction not only compassion but also connecting and that is what you do through speech and 
helping people being compassionate now the fruits for the air uh, the food for air signs is usually fruit so perhaps this is the message to eat more fruit okay more fruit I hope you have enjoyed this reading Taurus take care and please give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends and have a look at the review and if you would like to get free cards I am go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and um, I'm go I'm leaving of late I'm leaving um, notifications on the community tab what time I'm going live and also on Facebook and Instagram so please join me there if you would like I also answer questions that are supported by a super chat uh, or a super sticker that's what they call donations if you would like to have an extensive reading one on one either live or video then you can also find the information below this video <coughs> uh, or on that white circle with the eye that will take you to my website and please have a look at under that white dot because the other Reiki master that I work with quite often is Brenda Terra Readings she's also a Reiki master like me and a reader so have a look at that white dot in your left hand corner until next time I see you um, either in the video or the live session take care be happy and God bless